my history with this movie is really interesting because I actually auditioned for it six years ago and didn't get the job um, because, you know, they said that I couldn't star in a movie and that I was too young and sort of all these things. And so I watched it and sort of followed it go through all these other actresses and all these different progressions and everything. And then about uh, two years ago now, um, when it went up for sale, was able to um, buy into it with another production company and become a producer on it and make it the, the movie that I had always thought it should be. I don't really want to say whether it's true or not because I'm kind of enjoying the fact <laughs> that people think I could have this hunky Englishman in love with me. Um, <laughs> and so I'm just going to let him think it, to be honest with you, because <laughs> my social life on my own is not really that exciting and I find it enjoyable. Um, I, find, I, I love the fact that, that I, could, I could get such a, a catch. Um, so I'm not going to say whether it's true or not, but um, we're having a great time filming the movie and he's really talented and we're having fun and, uh, and it's been really good. Everyone, stand by. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, well, the record's called Bare Naked. I think it comes out here in February. Um, Meredith Brooks produced it. She and I co wrote the record. Um, I did it uh, almost a year and a half or two years ago now, um, and I've just been kind of promoting it in the States, and now I'm getting ready to do that here. It's sort of rock, pop, soul kind of thing. Um, I actually get to sing in the movie too, which is really cool. The only, the only sh the nuance, Jennifer, is you all brought up the violin perfectly together, and for, for whatever reason, your bow came up. 